Yeah, Shannon and Mike, good evening. So the Collier Township Police Department, they continue to investigate this, but tonight it looks like it might have been worse than originally reported. It appears that the video that after the original video ended, the punches continued to be thrown with uh, the victim ending up with a concussion, having to be hospitalized overnight. Now this one Islamic Association wants a state and federal investigation. They believe it was likely a hate crime. This cell phone video shows the altercation inside a Chartiers Valley High School bathroom. The girl in the purple shirt appears to corner the girl in the hijab and begins punching her. It was not a fight. It was it was a beating. Safdar Khawaja is president of the Council on American Islamic Relations in Pittsburgh. He says the 14 year old girl wearing the hijab came to the U.S. a few years ago from Syria with her family after spending two years in a refugee camp. They were fleeing anarchy, violence and a complete breakdown of a social system and a governance system. So they came to a civilized place and we all assured them that this is the most civilized place in the world. To see this kind of violence take place, it's very disappointing. Kawaja met with the girl's family and says after the video ended, the attack actually continued. So bad, she was taken to Children's Hospital by ambulance, where she was treated and had to stay overnight. She suffered a concussion and multiple bruises. The family is very distressed. Students have said the attack stemmed from an argument about the aggressor vaping in the bathroom. But Kawaja thinks it all runs deeper. We don't believe the motive was random and uh, was... Uh, um, at the spur of the moment, uh, we believe there uh, was a bias. Now, the Chartiers Valley School District sent out a note to parents saying that they will uh, enforce consequences to the fullest extent regarding this incident. We're hearing that the apparent aggressor in that video has a court hearing Thursday. Meanwhile, the investigation here by police into possible charges continues. Reporting live from Collier Township, Bo Berman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.